there, happy quilters. So recently I was asked in one of my classes, we were using a lot of the Terrio Magic spray, and this can happen a lot with your starch as well. We got a little um, spray spritz happy with it, and one of the students took their iron and down onto some bubbly stuff on top of uh, super wet surfaces, and they got not a burn or anything like that, uh, but they got a little bit of flake or buildup on their iron from the spray. Now this can happen with starch, it can happen with Terrio Magic, it can be an unhappy accident using some sort of fusible that you have that it just got too close to an edge or you didn't see that something was poking outside of a um, piece of the fabric or whatever. And so one of the students asked me, hey, if you get something on your iron, how do you clean it? Well, if I'm in class and it's a Terrio Magic thing, which is a water-soluble product, I would go into the bathroom and get some paper towels and soak them, and I would probably spend a couple minutes scrubbing your iron down for you so that you could use it with your light-colored fabrics and feel pretty good about it. But with a fusible, there's not a whole lot I can do about it in class unless I have a really cool product that I keep in my Quilters Toolkit and thought you might want to have some too. Now, I know I talk about the Quilters Toolkit or Quilters Toolbox a lot, and some of those things are skills and some are actual products. And this is one of those times when I use an actual product. So here is the stuff that I use. It's called Dritz Iron Off. Now this tube looks a lot like um, like a neosporin tube. It's plastic. Sometimes you'll find it in a much more crinkly up metal-ish type tube. Um, either way, same stuff. It's by Dritz. This is what it looks like. Um, it's a creamy substance. You put it on a clean towel, um, it's pretty easy to use and it's pretty easy to clean off. So let me do a little demo on how I go about cleaning my iron. Okay gang, here's my towel. Now mine isn't clean anymore because I was using the iron off earlier, so it's kind of like a lotion almost. But we're gonna do it again on this surface so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. So I have my small pressing mat here, which I do not wanna get dirty because that's my travel mat. I'm gonna put my towel down over top of it. I'm gonna take my Dritz cream and just put a little bit, I don't need to use a lot right now because I've already cleaned my iron, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of it right in the center of the towel. Then I'm gonna take my iron, and maybe you'll be able to see some of the burn uh, the smoke when I do it. I'm going to take my iron, see how it it's lightening up the cream, and I'm just going to rub it around all over the surface so that the entire surface of my iron at some point in time gets clean. And the iron is on medium. You can turn it up to high if you want, but I don't see a need to do that right now. And then I'm going to turn it over. And then as you can see, my iron surface looks pretty good. Um, it has got a little bit of smoke coming off of it and that's just uh, burning off that little bit of lotion that's on the surface. So to clean the little bit of lotion that's on the surface, I'm gonna fold the towel over to a clean area and I'm just gonna rub back and forth and you'll feel a total difference now because the surface will be nice and smooth and shiny and you're basically drying it off. Now no more smoke's coming off of it and as you can see, it's super clean and ready for the next project. Okay gang, that is my quick demo on the use of Dritz Iron Off and how to clean your iron. So this is one of those really important things in your quilter's toolbox that it's not a theoretical thing or a skill, it's an actual product. So this is available at a lot of local quilt shops. Um, it's a pretty popular item. It's not very expensive. Um, support your local quilt shop first, but if you can't find it, I'm sure you could find it at a big box store or online. Um, Dritz is the maker. And this is one of those things where you're actually gonna keep in your miscellaneous junk drawer. If you're like me, you have one. It's filled with all the marking pencils, um, small measuring tapes. I just pulled my measuring chicken out today. You know, that kind of thing. This is the drawer it's in. Um, it's right underneath my ironing board so I can find it. And this is one of those things where if you don't have it, you need to get some because if you don't have it, you need it. And if you do have it, you'll never need it. 
but just in case every now and then it's good to clean your iron. So that's it for me. Have fun. Happy quilting.